Effect of Area of Cross Section of the Conductor It has been found by experiments that the resistance of a conductor is inversely proportional to its area of cross section, that is, resistance R inversely proportional to 1 upon A, where A is area of cross section of conductor. Since the resistance of a wire or conductor is inversely proportional to its area of cross section, therefore, when the area of cross section of a wire is doubled, its resistance gets halved. And if the area of cross section of wire is halved, then its resistance will get doubled. We know that a thick wire has a greater area of cross section, whereas a thin wire has a smaller area of cross section. This means that a thick wire has less resistance and a thin wire has more resistance. A thick wire having large area of cross section can be considered equivalent to a large number of thin wires connected in parallel. And we know that if we have two resistance wires connected in parallel, their resultant resistance is halved. So doubling the area of cross section of a wire will, therefore, halve the resistance. From the above discussion, it is clear that to make resistance wires or resistors, one, short length of a thick wire is used for getting low resistance and two, long length of a thin wire is used for getting high resistance. The thickness of a wire is usually represented by its diameter. It can be shown by calculations that the resistance of a wire is inversely proportional to the square of its diameter. Thus, when the diameter of a wire is doubled, made two times, its resistance becomes one-fourth, one upon four. And if the diameter of the wire is halved, made one upon two, then its resistance becomes four times, four times. Similarly, if the diameter of a wire is tripled, made three times, then its resistance will become one upon three square or one-ninth of its original value.